to say, oh yeah, that's good. It has to be done everywhere. Why? Because we can't afford, and we all know it now, we're in a much, much, much more conducive moment for change. We all know that we can't continue to build up greenhouse gases. Everybody knows that. See, it's common knowledge now. We've gotten over the people who were asleep at the wheel in their jobs and too many institutions across this planet who said, no, that will never happen. We all know now, which we didn't just a few years ago, that the, strat that the stratospheric ozone layer is globally depleted. Even Maggie Thatcher acknowledges that. <laughs> we know we can't live with this any longer. So why not make an investment in life? If we make an investment in life, the investment will grow disproportionately to our bank accounts. If we make an investment in a technology that allows us to be free from fuel, then we can take the energy and resources that went into fuel and heal the planet that has been damaged by its use. But we can't do that unless we have the will as a race to go through a, a, our own glasnost. Not just new thinking. We need a global perestroika because I can tell you the people in my country are starting to feel the downside of what happens when oil is pulled out from under you. All of a sudden, your money isn't worth anything anymore. All of a sudden, the dollar in 1967 is worth 23 cents today in 1967 dollars in the United States. Instead of leaning on a broken crutch, why not tap into the coherent being? The coherent being of existence is not a metaphysical concept. Even the high priests acknowledge it. Not the Pope. Although he may, and he may call it Spiritu Sancti or something, you know. But with 10 to the 93rd power grams, we scrape the surface very, very lightly, and suddenly we have, as we demonstrated in New York, 54 times output in voltage. You can't go on forever in voltage. It's just a simple experiment. You can't go on forever with the beginning. We've been in this beginning. Dr. Nieper, who sits here, stuck his neck out in 1980 and had a conference with very, very, very respected people in the audience and said this is a possibility because he recognized it needed to happen. This is nine years later and the engine is just starting still. We don't have time for us to be able to stand here in nine years and still be just starting. Consider the world investment in waste and consider that if we take one or two percent of that investment, we can heal the planet in this way. There is not time in this session to go through all of the implications. I understand that. I will be available today and tomorrow and whatever questions I can answer, whatever questions you have, be they technical or otherwise, I'll be happy to make myself available. And thank you very much for your attention.